Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be trying the Smoky Palette from Beauty Bay. It is brand new and I'm so excited to give it a go. Without further ado, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let's get started. Just want to start this video with a little disclaimer saying I did receive this product in PR. However, I've got no obligation to say anything nice about it. If we don't like it, as usual, I will tell you. I'm just so excited to dive into this palette. So mine came with a little sleeve on and this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if this is just for PR or if all of them are going to receive this. So when we're to get into the packaging itself, it's still a classic Beauty Bay packaging. I love this. As soon as you see anything like this, you know it's Beauty Bay. So I've got the £42 palette. However, you can get £16. 42 or 9 pan. The 42 pan is 25 pounds, 16 pan is 14 pounds and 9 pan is 9 pound 50. I love how affordable these are. So when we get into the palette itself, this is what the palette looks like. I am so here for this packaging. I love this. I've always wanted like a grayscale kind of palette from Beauty Bear. And then when we actually open the product up, this is is what it looks like. This is such a beautiful palette. So you've got two rows of mattes, two rows of shimmers, and then another two rows of mainly mattes with like three dark shimmers. We're gonna start off with an eye primer. So I'm actually using my Beauty Base eye primer. I love this, and I recently got a new one because I used mine up. It's just so easy to use, and it really does help make that pigment pop when you're doing an eye look. I'm actually really excited to dip into this palette because I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with it yet, but I'm really excited to see what we come up with. I think I want to work on a bit of like a gradient scale, so I want to start with like deeper outer corners and go into like lighter inner corners, I think. That's kind of the base of what we're going for. So some of the shades that are really calling my name are up here. These kind of like bluey grey scale, those ones, I love them, they're so pretty. So I think I'm going to start off with a shade, I think we're going to go in with Magnet. This is what it looks like on the brush, it looks really pretty. And I'm just going to start that in the centre of my crease. Ooh, very pigmented. I like it. That looks really nice. So I'm just applying that in the centre of my crease there. We're not going to blend it out or anything yet. I'm just kind of placing it. That's so pretty. I feel like so many eyeshadow palettes, like so many brands miss greys. Like they don't include grey in their palettes. Uh, Revolution. Revolution actually have a really, really nice grey palette. However, I just feel like it's something that's really missing. So I'm really excited when they announce this. So this is how it looks. It definitely has that blue kind of tone in there and I'm so here for it. So I'm just gonna grab a different brush, like a fluffy brush to start to blend this. I'm gonna start off with just using a brush to blend, but I might add in like a transition shade, but we'll see. Oh, that is actually blending quite nicely. I like that. Let's just keep blending. I think what I'm going to do, I am going to add a transition shade in. I'm going to take the shade Clouds, because that's like in between the white and that one that we've just used, and it looks really pretty. Just a tiny amount of that. I'm just buffing that of the colour we've already applied and onto the skin without any eyeshadow. This is how it's looking at the moment, which I'm starting to love. I want to go in with a deeper shade for this outer corner. So I'm kind of thinking... I can't decide between either Stormy, which is this one here, or I really like the Highway, which is here. I feel like we're going to go in with Stormy. Okay, let's go in with that. And we're just going to start to blend that from what we've... Ooh, that's a nice tone. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, we definitely like the right one. So just blending that into my outer corner. This was definitely a lot more pigmented than the first shade, which was nice. But this one is like crazy pigmented. So I'm just blending this out a little bit, just using that shade. I'm not taking any other shade or any other brush. By the way, the brushes I'm using today have been the P. Louise brushes so far. I'm using, what am I using right now? We're using the 271 brush, and before we were using the 235. I'm really into the P. Louise eye brushes at the moment. I think I need to tidy this part up a little bit, so I'm just using my finger to try and just neaten that up there. 
and this is how it's looking i actually really love this palette so far like it's so easy to use and like we've done this so quickly i think what i'm going to do next i'm going to go in with the shade clouds which we used earlier on was this really light gray little tint of blue in there i'm just going to pack it onto my brush and i'm just going to go from my inner corner to that first shade that we used with that there okay that's really pretty but it's not anywhere near as pigmented as the other shades so it's going to get a little bit more on okay that is better I love how well these shades just like melting into each other and just blending together. I've never been disappointed by a Beauty Bear palette yet. There's one product from Beauty Bear that I wasn't a massive fan of, which was one of their primers. And that was mainly because I feel like I went through it so fast, like I literally used it up so quickly and the stick was a little bit harsher on the skin for me. But I did still use like all of the product, like we used it all up. This is how my eyes are looking. I'm so here for this palette, it's so pretty. So I'm just grabbing a, another brush. I'm taking the 234 from P. Louise again. This one is just a lot smaller and you've got a lot more control with it. So I think I'm gonna go with the shade Thunder, which is this shade here. I feel like it's good for being a little bit deeper, but it's still got that blue kind of undertone in it. Not grab too much, because I don't want it to be like super pigmented. And I'm just going to place this right in the outer corner. Yeah, that is so pigmented, so I'm glad I didn't get too much of that. And again, same on this side. Right on the outer corner. Just to make it even more smoky. Then we're going to go in with the last brush that went in with, and we're just going to blend this out. I'm going to try and get a nice, kind of seamless blend. If I was thinking it through and doing this again, I would have used like a bit of tape or like an eye stencil or something to get a really sharp wing there. But that can always be for next time we use the palette. Yeah, they're just blending out so easily into each other. I absolutely love that. I really want to use some of the shimmers. Should we do that next? Kind of thinking of going in with the shimmer next. I think I'm just going to really quickly take the shade Castle, which is like a lighter version of Magnet, which was the first shade we used. And I'm just running this through my crease, just to get a little bit of that blue back into the look and just to not lose any of that colour. So pretty. I love this colour. I love this palette so much so far. When I first saw it online, I was like... I really wanted a grayscale palette, but there's so many different like tones and shades in here. So you've got like your more mauvey grays, you've got some more browny grays, you've got like so many different colours in here. I wasn't sure what I would be able to create with this, but I've literally just sat here and just created something without planning it out. And I think it's so beautiful. The shades are so pretty, and I think a lot of it as well depends on how the true colours look. Like in a palette, it can look like a certain colour. You can put it on your skin and it looks a completely different colour. However, these are actually true to what's in the pan, which I love. Okay, I'm going to take the shade Snow, which is the white, and I'm just gonna really gently just put a tiny bit of this on my inner corner, just to make it a little bit more drastic between that dark and that light. I'm just blending it into that cloud shade we used. I've actually put white on my inner corner for a few looks this week and I'm so here for it. I feel like it just really brightens it without having that inner corner shimmer sometimes. Just to make a bit of a change. Now I want to go in with some of the glitters, I think. So I think what I might do... I'm trying to decide if I want to do that more of a halo or if I just want to go in. I feel like with the way that we've done the look with the gradient kind of look, I want to do more of a cut crease with it. So I'm just going to grab my P.O.E.'s Cut Carver. This... I use all the time. I absolutely love it. If you've not seen this before, it is so, so good. It basically removes makeup. It's, oh, it's amazing. I love it. So, I don't have my brushes for it. Okay, we'll use this one. This is, again, another P. Louise brush, and it is the C2 brush. Just going to work some of this product into my brush. Then I'm just going to apply this where we don't want the product to be. To be fair, I could have probably got away with not even using this product with these glitters, with the look that we've got so far, but we're going to do it anyway because I feel like it'll get like a sharper look and look more effective. I'm just following my crease where we don't want that product and it removes the product so easily. Then I just go in with the cotton bud and remove the excess of the product. Just love the fact that all these Beauty Bear palettes all have mirrors. It's so handy. 
Like having a mirror in your palette is just so, so helpful. Otherwise, you've got to use your palette in one hand, you've got a mirror in the other, you've got a brush in another, and like I don't have that many hands, it's just not as practical. It just makes it so much easier to be able to dip in as well as hold it and look in the mirror. It's so much easier. This is how it's looking. I actually absolutely love this. I want to zoom you in a little bit more. Just because I feel like you'll be able to see better what's going on. Okay, I'm going to go in with that base again. So I'm going to take some of that base, but I'm going to take it on my hand this time. Take some onto the back of my hand and then work a brush into it. Then follow around where we've just created that cut crease shape. I'm actually using a different... So I'm actually going to use a different brand brush for this one. I'm using a Nia brush. This is the 205. I love this for carving out a little cut crease. I'm just going to start to follow that shape we've created and then stamp in the product I'm filling it in. We're doing the same thing on this side, following that round and then we're going to stamp it in. This is how it's looking, and now we're going to go in with a shimmer or two. I don't even know which one to use because they look so pretty. I love the look of Wings, which is like a goldy shimmer, and I love Frost, which is that kind of like blue tone, but they do look quite similar. Glass looks really nice, but I'm not sure if that's just too dark. Do you know what? I think I might go in with a mixture. I do really like Starfall as well, which is a bit more goldy again. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I think I might go in with Starfall, then this one here, and then this one here, and like do like a gradient of the three of them, I'm kind of thinking. So I'm taking that first shade there, I'm just tapping that in. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Do you know what? I feel like I might have changed my mind there, because that is like a really pretty like goldy shade. I've definitely gone a little bit too high with the glitter because I wasn't looking, and I kind of just stuck it on. But it kind of looks pretty when it goes up a little bit as well, actually. I'm going to say one here. These pigments for the glitter are so crumbly, they're so incredibly pigmented, like you need a tiny bit and it goes such a long way. I'm really impressed by that. To be fair, I've always been impressed by Vita Bear's, like glittery ones, like the shimmery ones, but this, this is something else. And then I'm going to go with the shade Glass to like blend out that edge there. That's so pretty. And same on this side. So just mixing those two. We've got Starfall, then Glass. And then I'm going to go in with that shadow again. So I'm taking the shade Thunder, which is the one we took before, and I'm just gently buffing this into it where we've got the glitter. So it kind of like all seamlessly comes together. And then same on this side. Just blending that into that Thunder shade. Last step, I'm just going to do my lower lash line. So I'm going to take Thunder for the outer corner. I used to always do my lower lash line, but I don't do it as much anymore. But I thought when it's a smoky look, like you've just got to, it just works so much better. Then I'm going to take Magnet, which is like the bluey shade in the centre. Then right in the inner corner, I'm going to take Clouds, which is that lighter one, just to brighten it up. This is now the finished look. I am so here for it. I was tempted to do like a wing as well, but I'm going to leave it for this one. But I love this look so much. I love the colours. I love the way they've just blended together. Overall, I'm really impressed with the palette. I want to play with some more colours from it as well because I've loved playing with those so far. I love the grey tones. I love that like blue undertone in the grey. It's so, so pretty. But there's so many more like shades to play with in there. So I'm so excited to give them all a go. But that is going to be it for me today. So thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. If you have done, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.